Hello, this is Billy Core from the Nostalgia Mall, and I understand it has been a few weeks since I did my last video, which I believe was the Tandy 1000 SX. Currently have that back in storage right now. Uh, next set for it, by the way, is getting an XT IDE card for it, but enough about that. I just wanted to get a few updates on what's been going on and uh, just give a quick little updated tour of how the computer room is looking right now, what I've got set up right now, what's running, all that good stuff. Uh, I've just had a lot going on the last few weeks. Uh, one of the big reasons I didn't get any videos done, and this is kind of embarrassing, was this room was just a absolute train wreck. And it's hard for me to make videos when the room is just in a uh, very messy state. But I finally got around last week to uh, tidying things up. Uh, I wouldn't say organizing things because a lot of stuff has just been shoved out of the way, but the room is cleaner now, so I've got that going at least. Last week I had some uh, visitors over. That's another reason I cleaned things up. And those visitors, by the way, were Computer Kid 1416 who comes to visit me every year. And the other friend I had come by was uh, my good friend Elmall3. I've met him a couple of times, uh, but I haven't seen him since 2019. The uh, COVID pandemic kind of uh, ruined uh, any trips for him for a couple of years, but now things are back to normal for the most part, so he was able to come down. We went to the fair and everything. We had a, had a good time, didn't really get any video footage, but I think they did, so you might see some uh, clips of our of their trip uh, over here on their respective channels. As for uh, the elephant in the room, uh, Hurricane Helene, I had a lot of uh, messages, a lot of uh, concerned messages, and asking how I've been doing uh, since the hurricane uh, hit North Carolina, and I'm very thankful and grateful to say I am perfectly okay as well as everything else my area of the state which is the Greensboro Winston-Salem area didn't really get affected by the storm on the, the tw morning of Friday the 27th of September we did get a lot of rain a lot of wind and we did lose power at work I was only there for about 20 minutes and had to go home uh, with no uh, working traffic lights, that was fun. <laughs> but thankfully, uh, nothing happened here. We didn't lose power here at the apartment, and we made through it complete. Made it through completely unscathed. Unfortunately, uh, unlike our good friends up in the western part of the state, it, as you've probably seen on the news, it was just devastating up that way. And my heart and my prayers are out to everyone affected by this uh, terrible disaster. Very unprecedented. And uh, I do love going up to the mountains every now and then, so seeing that area in such disarray is heartbreaking. And seeing so many lives lost and destroyed is even more heartbreaking. And as you know, uh, one of my good friends here on YouTube, uh, LGR, lives up that way and he did suffer some damage from the storm uh, you've probably seen his tweets and whatnot about that and he's going to have to be doing a bit of rebuilding thankfully he's okay praise the Lord for that he's perfectly fine but he's gonna definitely be dealing with a little bit of a rebuilding phase uh, after all this so uh, prayers out to uh, Clint for that as always, and uh, hope to see him back up and running real soon. Um, he's He's got a good spirit about it, and I'm glad to see that. Uh, <laughs> I, for, I forgot Computer Kid 1416 uh, reset the screensaver on the corner Packard Bell. <laughs> that startled me a little bit, but... Anyway, now that things are cleaned up here, I'm hoping to get back into uh, regular video making, especially since we have Pac Vember coming up in less than a month. I'm 
excited about that. Just got to come up with some ideas uh, for Packard Bell related videos. Uh, I remember used to, back in my early days of YouTube, I could easily make video, uh, videos of all types about Packard Bells uh, because of our local thrift store, Value Village, which was my main source for, for vintage computers for years. And a lot of my Packard Bell collection at the time came from there, but the Greensboro location that I frequented uh, closed back in 2018, so... Yeah, and with the uh, prices of vintage computers, including, unfortunately, Packard Bells, just going way, way up because of collector's value and everything, uh, I usually only get maybe about one or two, if I'm lucky, Packard Bells a year. My uh, last one I actually did get this year back in, uh, I think it was March, the uh, Packard Bell Legend 3550, which I now kind of consider the guest Packard Bell that's in, set up in the living room now as kind of a display piece and for uh, guests to use when they're over, if they're wanting a uh, quick little vintage computer fix. But anyway, I digress. That's... Uh, Part of the reason why it's so hard to make Packard Bell videos these, these days is because it's just hard to source the stuff now. <laughs> but um, maybe I'll be able to get another Packard Bell added to the collection for Pack Vember. That's something I usually try to do every year for Pack Vember. I did it last year with the Packard Bell Platinum One. Don't have it hooked up currently. I've got it sitting right here. It's perfectly fine. But. November is also my uh, birthday month, and I always, uh, if I'm able uh, to financially, try to buy myself a Packard Bell every November for my birthday. So, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see what happens this year. But you don't want to see me rambling on about random crap. You want to see computers, don't you? Well, let's do that. Okay, nothing has drastically changed from the last time I've done a uh, room tour. But I will just uh, briefly show a few things. The Packer Bell Legend 822 CDT still running just fine. Been having some issues with the uh, Sidewinder joystick, though. I discovered that when uh, Elmall 3 and Computer Kid were over here last week. So I don't know if it's something with the uh, game port on the computer or the uh, joystick itself, but we'll get that figured out. My printer has been frozen at this printing screen for about 24 hours now. I was trying to print something out online on my uh, main computer and it's just been stuck there. Maybe I can just go ahead and cancel it. This, by the way, this printer's a piece of junk. <laughs> Speaking of LGR, there's his uh, floppy disk I got from him like 10 years ago, I guess, when I first started supporting his Patreon. Carolina Circle Mall restroom sign still in its spot there. My TV here, this used to be in my mom's bedroom. Uh, there's my jewel case CD collection for uh, computer games. A lot of this stuff is uh, stuff I've had since the 90s. There's my Nickelodeon Live Tour flag I got back in 1994. Overflow VHS collection. The uh, Gateway G6400XL that I got in my Tennessee lot back in February. Pardon the mess over here. There's my Gateway 2004 DX266. I've had it for about a year and a half now. Still running fine. <laughs> there goes that screensaver again. Got a copy of uh, Apple iWork uh, 08. Don't really have anything to install it on. <laughs> but it was a dollar at a thrift store. So... Why not? 
have this hooked back up. I had this uh, in storage for a couple of years, but this is my 12-inch Montgomery Ward uh, television set from 1984. Bought this off eBay back in 2020, and thankfully, still working great. Got a Roku hooked up to it, along with a uh, Panasonic VCR from the early 2000s. Gateway 2000 P590, still working fine, as you can see here. Sorry for the high refresh rate there. This is a IBM Model M that I got for my Tennessee lot. Love those things. Got my Packard Bell Legend 1540 Supreme. This is the Packard Bell that I've pretty much given uh, upgrade liberties to. I've upgraded it to a Pentium MMX 200, added a ATI uh, 3D Rage card to it, uh, upgraded the RAM to 64 megs. So yeah, I've made a kind of a beast out of this computer, but still a Packer Bell on the inside. Plus, I can't get rid of this. This was a Christmas gift from my wife back in 2021, so yeah. <laughs> and over here is where I do my streaming from. I, yes, I am going to be doing streaming again very, very soon. See, right now, um, my Pentium 4 build that we did back in the summer is uh, running on here right now. There we go. Uh, Computer Kid 1416 was messing with the uh, display settings there. That's why it looks a little bit different. But these are the three computers I have on my uh, KVM for streaming. This is my Gateway 2000 P5166XL I got from uh, Tennessee. Here's the Pentium 4 that's running right now. My Gateway 2000 4DX266V from uh, Tennessee with uh, wood grain courtesy of LGR. Who else? <laughs> and this computer was originally in a desktop case, but I moved it to this tower case that originally had a Pentium 60 in it and put the Pentium 60 board in the desktop case this came out of. Hope I didn't confuse you guys. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is also running fine. Has a Mach 32 uh, VLB video card in there that I'm hoping to upgrade soon. I believe I did a video on this computer uh, not long ago. This is the late 2009 MacBook. And sold to me by Elmo3 earlier this summer is a ThinkPad T440P from the Haswell era. Currently using this uh, for running Linux stuff. Put those back in there. Got my main computer right there along with a secondary computer I use as well. It's a 6-gen uh, Intel i7 that I got at Goodwill this year. And this was given to me by Elmo3 when he was visiting last week. This is one of those uh, old Dell Studio hybrid computers from the late 2000s. I believe this is a Core 2 Duo. Missing the uh, faceplate and the uh, vertical stand, but I can get that off of eBay. There's a look at the... Rear I.O. Don't know what that was. Has a Windows Vista Home Basic COA on there, but I'll probably give this a uh, good old-fashioned Windows XP. Look forward to getting this up and running soon. Just needs a, a hard drive. And here's the good old corner Packard Bell with its screensaver. Uh... What is the name of that screensaver anyway? Inside your computer, okay. What did I have on this before? I think it was uh, 
flying windows. Sorry for the flickering. But again, Corner Packard Bell running just fine. Old CompUSA sign. And something I'm hoping to get set up soon, probably in that 486 uh, wood grain gateway, is this uh, beauty. This is a uh, good old fashioned Gravis ultrasound sound card. I'm hoping to use this in tandem with uh, the uh, sound blaster that's in it. I just uh, haven't had the time or patience to uh, fool with this yet. And there's the platinum one that I mentioned earlier. Not hooked up right now, but as far as I know, still runs fine. And I guess that's about it for now. Hope everyone uh, enjoyed this quick little update video. And until next time, this is Billy Core signing off. Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. Please follow me on social media for channel and project updates. You may also support me on Patreon or as a channel member if you'd like. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.